Thank you, Michael, and thank you for recognizing the great group of people I have the honor to work with every day at the SBA, and one of them is here with me, Jay Tanzi. And we are working hard to ensure that we are as entrepreneurial as we need to be in order to best serve small businesses who we're depending on to continue to lead our country out of the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. But I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you this morning and for uh, Michael's involvement, involving the SBA in this very good conference. And it's uh, certainly an honor to share this morning's speaking responsibilities with Special Representative Lorraine Herring Harrington. We have been, we at the SBA have been part of the Global Entrepreneurship Initiative and we're looking forward to deepening that relationship and, and doing even more together because as she, uh, as she so well said, the whole thrust of entrepreneurship entrepreneurship, not only in our country, but worldwide, the time has come to, to really spark a, a new spirit of entrepreneurship to help the global economy. I thank today's sponsors, certainly this beautiful U.S. Chamber Building, Impact, uh, Opportunity International, the Kauffman Foundation, and others. And I know that some of my colleagues were with you yesterday. Michael Chodos, our Associate Administrator for our Office of Entrepreneurial Development, and uh, Ken Yancey of SCORE, CEO of SCORE, who is one of our significant resource partners uh, at the SBA, and so I'm sure you enjoyed hearing from them. Entrepreneurship actually is a topic very close to my heart. It's fundamental to the American dream. Uh, my family uh, was put on a different path uh, in this country because of my paternal grandfather's role as an entrepreneur, a scrappy uh, businessman who, against the odds, created a a company in uh, my home state of Indiana back when the state was segregated and it was very tough for families, uh, particularly African American families, but he stepped out on faith and started a small business that meant so much for our family's opportunity as well as other families who, uh, whose uh, per members he employed. And so I bring to the SBA a very deep passion for small business and the importance it is in our economy. Lorraine mentioned that most of our private sector jobs are created by small business, and that's absolutely true. Actually, small businesses represent half of the economy. Half of the people working today are either working in their own small business or another or someone else's small business. And so given the state of the economy, we have a responsibility to make sure that we're equipping everyone who has the desire to start a business with the right tools that they need to do just that. So it is certainly... Um, our, our uh, intention at the SBA to focus on entrepreneurs across the board, but we're very excited about the work that we're doing with young entrepreneurs in particular. President Obama has declared November to be National Entre Entrepreneurship Month, and I've been traveling a lot this month in particular talking to young entrepreneurs. We have a series of young entrepreneurs conversations going on around the country. Uh, we started in San Diego, talking to young veteran entrepreneurs, uh, as well as uh, young entrepreneurs in rural areas that was hosted by uh, Iowa State University in Ames, Iowa. And I have been absolutely inspired by their stories and just the relentlessness of their pursuit of their businesses and the success that they're experiencing. And we're looking to them to grow, our, to grow businesses and create the jobs that will really strengthen the American economy in uh, this 21st century. But the fact is, unemployment among young people is stubbornly high. If you look at the age cohort from um, 18 to 34, it is a little over 12%, higher than the 9% national average. So the goal with the Young Entrepreneurship Series at the SBA is actually twofold. Entrepreneurship creates a job for the entrepreneur, and also young people tend to hire other young people. So we're looking for this initiative to really help attack that um, unreasonably high unemployment rate. The good news is that starting a business really has not been easier. And with new technology, you often don't need a big budget. You need a good website and a great idea, and you can be off and running. And so it's no surprise that more young people are starting businesses today. However, uh, as entrepreneurial activity in general has picked up in our country uh, during this recession, entrepreneurial activity among young people has actually fallen off. In fact, the average age of a startup 
founder is around 40 years old. And so that's why the Obama administration and at the SBA, SBA were thinking differently about how we connect with young people who are interested in starting businesses. And first and foremost, we're getting the word out to them about the programs that they can take advantage of. For example, the SBA has a microloan program that offers low cost and smaller dollar loans for young people who want to start businesses. Up, the uh, microloan goes up to $50,000 and is offered through a network of microlenders around the country who, in addition to being lending partners, also offer technical assistance. We also have a network of job counts, of, excuse me, business counselors around the country that uh, we are able to provide through our relationships with our resource providers. I mentioned SCORE earlier. We also have a network of nearly 900 small business development centers uh, around the country. In fact, I was happy to see this morning uh, my friend uh, Dr. D.T. Ogilvie from uh, um, Rutgers University. Uh, Dr. Ogilvie is the founder of the Center on Urban Entrepreneurship and Economic Development. I don't see you, D.T. Oh, there you are, uh, and is the host of one of our SBDCs. And in fact, we were at Rutgers um, earlier this year for an urban entrepreneurship initiative that was, uh, was great, and we had a lot of young entrepreneurs present at that time as well. We know that young entrepreneurs can't always connect with us during work hours, so we have online resources to make sure that we are open 24-7 to provide uh, the resources that they need. And it's just so wonderful that President Obama understands this, and he is giving the SBA more resources to work with to spread this message. For example, the Student Startup Plan, uh, where recent college graduates who often have good ideas but are saddled with college loan debt by reducing their loan payments, uh, the, the uh, student startup plan is giving them the breathing room that they need to start a business. So that's an example of one of the practical tools that this administration is putting in the hands of young entrepreneurs, because we want to empower them, we want to accelerate their success. We started our Young Entrepreneurship Series in New York. Michael was, was right there. Uh, we had a room packed of young entrepreneurs, about 300 people present. We had. Um, uh, 10,000 people who participated online, and it was a great opportunity for us to, to test the hypothesis that, that there was a great opportunity for us to connect the SBA with young entrepreneurs around the country. So with support from the White House and partners from other federal agencies, such as the Department of Education, the Department of Labor, we've kicked off a five-city tour focused on young entrepreneurs. I mentioned that we've been to San Diego, we have been to uh, Des Moines and Ames, Iowa. I was in Charlotte, North Carolina yesterday, and we uh, will head to Oklahoma and Milwaukee uh, the, the week after Thanksgiving. And we have even more uh, initiatives on the, on the book for, for uh, 2012. Because quite frankly, there's never been a more important time to talk about entrepreneurship. I talk a lot about how we have to create the next generation of entrepreneurs. And we're entering the age where success no longer means that you've got to take your place on that corporate ladder and, and make it up every step by step. We're looking for young people to forge their own way in order to really mine all of the creativity that we possibly can from our, our collective uh, intellectual capital, and we're looking for them to create the jobs of the future. And that's why gatherings of this sort are so important to bring thought leaders such as yourselves together to figure out how we can all join our resources more effectively, support these young people, and turn them loose on creating uh, the next great American economy. So thank you, Michael, for what you're doing. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you have a very productive day.